lights, it can be completely turned around. The legends claim that Rivera dwells in the wondrous stronghold. They call this Palace of Paradise. Tower of Fortune. Tower of Fortune, a nice event. The theme of this already is pretty cool. Yeah, like, oh, Oh, she's so fucking cute! Oh my. Okay. Alright, make sure it saved my settings from before. There's a different kinds of shapes here for the wallpaper. Oh, you just got it too? I kind of like that one. Enough for Dan Van Dam. What the hell am I doing? I usually do Dandrick because it kind of just meets the requirement. Dan Dan, there we go. Ain't paying attention to that. <laughs> there. I was even paying attention. I was just like just putting Dan Dan for the hell of it. Dan Dan Dam. That's a tongue tire. <clears throat> the magic castle of desert we are prevented the rebirth of a demon god we then search for our next adventure my partner is the wanderer dan van dam he travels the world in the search of mysteries of all kinds and i'm the storytelling ferret Coppa. One day I was lost somewhere in the mountains, far from civilization. I stumbled across a small village, where I could meet the youngster that would uh, cause us the challenge, or cause us, what? Would cause us to the challenge of, des of the, to the god of destiny, Riva. <clears throat> Some of the translations on this are a little rough, so I'm kind of like trying to read it, and it's like, hmm? And I mean, it's always been a notorious thing, but it's like... Oh my! What are you people doing in the middle of the mountains here? Have you gotten lost? It's been so long since I've seen unfamiliar face. This place is called the Nori Village. You're welcome to make yourselves at home and take it easy while you're here. Girl. Oh, you was sick in bed for a while now. I hope he, she gets better so she can teach me how to play the cat's cradle. And the silver spoon. Mm -hmm. You and Jokoshi have been very close since they were little. Just to really make a good couple. The god of destiny is so cruel. Why would he try and separate a couple like that? What did they do to deserve this? Oh, uh, oh, you're wandering around the world looking for mysterious things? Good for you, I guess. Ah, uh, you must be here searching for the legend our village has passed down since ancient times. What? You've never heard of the legend? 
Well, I shouldn't be the one to tell you. It's a secret legend, after all. <laughs> hey, you there! I'm the f traveling fortune teller, Meadow Maska. This is my part disguise. Don't concern yourself too much. Some people are predestined fate, some do not. All events are either coincidences or inabilities. If Pharaoh does not cast a die, someone else will. And those who kn knows what the results may who who knows what the so much so And who knows what the results may be? By the way, your fortune says that you are in trouble with women. Be careful. Oreo said he, he, she'll marry me when I get older. I won't lose to uh, Jiro. <laughs> Whoa, it's a guy with a weird outfit talking to a fox. Hey, Squirt, ignoring the crack about my partner's outfit. I'm not a fox, I'm a ferret. Whoa, this fox, I mean, f f ferret, it talks. <laughs> Animals, birds, and fish all communicate with their own languages. You humans just don't understand them. Ah, was that so? I didn't realize that. I guess I got schooled by a ferret. That's right, kid. Don't you forget it. <clears throat> Listen to me, traveler. Our lives are governed by the god of destiny, Riva. Eating and greeting. Our partings, happiness, and despair, the strings of fate that tie the world are all controlled by Riva. Riva is also presiding deity of the eight beastful gods. Pray to him and give thanks. Do it now. <coughs> Koji Rotaria, a wealthy, son, a wealthy man's son, is the strongest person in the village. He's quite a nice fellow, too. You should speak with uh, Koji. The area up ahead is off limits. Dangerous monsters are all over there. It's best you stay clear. Fucking first ver variation of it hasn't really came out yet. Unfortunately, it's a terminal illness, so nothing can be done. There's nothing that can be done, Kojiro. Kojiro, blah, blah, blah. Jiro. <laughs> Jiro. I keep fucking up names over here. This is Ori's fate. Oh. Kojiro, don't worry. I'll be fine. <laughs> Ori has been born in a desolate home, but she still tried to get most of what life had given her. She had, both, both, uh, she had lost both parents when she was young. She tried to stay cheerful and grew to become a kind-hearted girl. So why, out of all people, does Uru have to be stricken with such a terminal illness on top of all that? So, I mean, at least push comes to shove, at least the PS5 would be a little bit cheaper when uh, those pros come out then. Which is kind of like the silver lining, I suppose, out of all of it. Why does Zoru only get a few months to live? I don't know. Just because some stupid fate? Because it's predestined? You're telling me that some unlucky people are fated to die an unfortunate death the moment they were born? You call that fate? The hell with that. I won't accept it. I never will. What possibly can be done to stop that? He has a nice tail, though, look. I'm going to the Tower of Fortune. If I can change Oru's fate, I'll do it. I'll make it happen. I can't stand and sit here powerless and watch Uru die. I will change Oru's fate. Fate of death sentence. He has a tail, though. No, no, it's a scarf. My bad. I just had a scarf. I just saw this part around his neck. At first, I didn't see this. And I looked again. I was like, oh, never mind. It's just a scarf. I thought he had a tail. Hang in there, Ru. I will save you. 
No, Jiru. You don't have to do this for me. Don't worry, he has a hero here. He'll he'll do it. Jiro, wait! Jiro! Jiro, oh no. Oru, you okay? Oh. Looks like some commotion up ahead, Dan Van Dam. The girl's illness seems to be really serious. Is she gonna be okay? Each person was born of their own fate. No one can do not defy it. All there is for us to do is accept our fate, no matter how sad or painful it may be. Oh, please, Jiru, please tell him. <laughs> you rest, girl. Don't hurt yourself. Oh, looks like he knocked down the fucking thing now. Jiru destroyed the gate that was blocking the path and ran ahead. There's lots of dangerous monsters up ahead. Please. Uh, doesn't he know that? What's gotten into him? Um, did the man called Juru really go looking for the Tower of Fortune? Hey, Dan Van Dam, seems like right up our alley. Why don't we go take a look at it, too? If he's going to rave his tower to change someone's fate, we can do what it be. Are you going after uh, Juru, too? Well, if you've gotten the slightest doubt of what's going on in this adventure, go to the beginner's house to the left of Uru's, where there's a training facility, where you can learn basics. You should learn before you head out into the unknown. Take care, may you receive the tailwind of the God of Travelers. Thanks, Pops. Yeah, fuck that. I already know how to play. <laughs> like, for me, it's like I... I don't mind tutorials, but if I already know kind of how to play, I don't need them. Like, these games are like my bread and butter, so like I know these... And plus, it's gonna tell me anyway, so regardless of what I say, it's gonna give me a tutorial. Think herb? I don't need an herb right now. Hey there, there's monsters here. Face the monster and press X to attack it. Don't let your guard down. You take damage, your health will slowly heal over time as you walk around the dungeon. Hey, we're good. you move, so do the monsters. If you don't, monsters don't. It's like when you move, they just like that. Hell yeah, DJ, bring it back. All right, so if you're in a tough predicament, stay calm and think before you take any actions. And also, you don't have to move either. You just punch in the midair and you actually could. Hey, look, some stairs. You can use those to go to the next floor, but we're not. Now we are. Aura Shrine. Tell me to equip the sword. Yep, 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 yep. Those who don't know how to play. Ooh, they gave me a nice, cool-looking club too. Look at that. But yeah, these games are really good too. As you can see right here, how I'm aiming this, by the way. There's like a nice little hallmark card there. So you can see you can also, if you're sizing up attacks, you can go like this. See? The little trick I know. It's like you just, if you don't... If you don't want to move, because if you move, you leave yourself vulnerable to an attack, you can actually stand in your spot and just swing once and it'll bring the enemies towards you. So it's a nice little trick. Like, I've learned how to do that for, like, freaking ever. Like, you just simply just chill, 
you can bring the enemies to you as opposed to you going to them. And it's more defensive and smart, too, because you save a turn in your life, most likely. Plus, they just taught us here on the screen. If you're next to a bunch of enemies, you can just auto tab or tap uh, the Y button and kind of bring yourself to the enemy's direction. That's right, we got uh, fatigue there. Got the. I'm not gonna eat that right now. I don't. I have plenty of uh, FG or fatigue points. I just broke my own damn rule. I did it again. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. up a shield and sword a little bit. This place is pretty. On the east side of the village is the Tower Fortress stands as the Lotus Pond. You are people going there too. Many people come here attempting to change their fates. But many haven't found so many people and go to the tower. Perhaps people have learned to accept their fates and lost the will to fight it. Or is it that the legend of the tower's long forgotten? Or they're just fine by me. Okay, what's in here? Aw. Okay. Okay, most of that's just telling us about the futures and all that stuff. Um, sorry, I'm just excited to play this now. I like doing the dungeon parts a lot. I can remove curses and seals on your fate. Okay, so priests can do that. Right on. This is so gorgeous. Like, I'm loving the sprite work on this. This is just a regular house, I think. Alright. Yeah, so again, it's just mostly just going over the fate thing and how you predetermine your fate and all that. And again, I'm just... For me, I don't mind that kind of story, but at the same time, I'm trying to... Point shop, sometimes you can come here to intent to exchange your points, but sometimes nobody's here. We'll be back real soon. Open underneath the hotel, maybe he's over there. Okay. Little mini quest. Dungeon Center. This shop sells friendship licenses. Do you want to hear to buy or sell? Yeah, it's very, it's very uh, melodic. And these are very important too, by the way. These are like Beastmaster style things in here. Now, this is basically long story short with these. Is if you pumpkin phantasm, by the way, are cute as fuck. But <laughs> um, if you have these, basically what happens is that these enemies will not attack you; they'll just help you and fight shit for you. So I can't really do anything here at all. But overall, those are like that place is really useful. Aww, 
Poco Pan. Oh. Hi, I'm Poco Pan. Downstairs, my big brother Panta is selling lots. She's so adorable. Oh. If you're interested, you can try buying one. Oh, they are so cute. Hey, big brother. Oh, Lottery, get your lottery lots here. Hunter's lottery is full of happiness and prizes. A raccoon dog selling lottery tickets. That's right. My name is Ponta. Would you like to buy some lots? Nope. Don't be shy. Go ahead and buy one. For some reason, I don't sell. If I can't sell a single one, I need the I need the help. Of course, nobody's buying them. There's nothing but losers in there. Go. Oh. Uh, how how did you? Uh, I mean, that's not true. It's totally not true. There's no way to win, and it sounds like I'm cheating my customers. It doesn't sound like you're cheating them. You are cheating them. Think about it, raccoon dog. If you're obviously just selling lo lo uh, dog lots, no winners in there. Gasp! How did I not realize this? Why I, I didn't sell any of them? Oh, there's that, then. Let's go. W wait, fine! I'll throw some winners in there, too! Are you really going to? Yes, I'm serious, please! Right now, they're only 30 GP each. This is a special sale, basically because I'm losing money selling them to you. Well, Dan, you want to buy one? Buy. Fine, Panta. We'll buy one. Really? Thank you so much. I'll give you a bonus since you're my first time, first customer. There are four types of lots. Big winner, winner, loser, and big loser. Wait a second. I understand losing tickets, but what's a uh, big loser ticket? If you draw the big loser lot, you'll have to pay me 200 G. What the heck, Ponte? You can't buy a lottery ticket loser enough to pay extra. Huh? That's a no go for you? Of course, not for me, for anyone. I see, then we'll cut my profits. I guess I'll have to take the big loser lots. Only three kinds. Come on! There we go. green lot you have a really good feeling about. Hmm, what's this? What's the matter? No way, you got the super big ultra winner! What? Unbreakable Pixel, thank you kindly for that host. Hope you're doing well today. What is that, the super plus alpha? No, <laughs> no it's a super ultra big super big winner. This is amazing! I have lots of prizes for you, especially prize one, encyclopedia books. Dan Van Dam received an encyclopedia from Panta. When you defeat monsters or pick up items, they'll get registered into the big book and automatically, or into the book automatically. Oh, and if you get an unknown item like this, say a glass bracelet, it won't be registered until it's identified. There's some extra blank pages, but I'll get to that with prize two. Anyway, thanks for waiting. Here is prize two. The secret pot can now be used. Secret pot? Yes, this is a secret pot that raccoon dogs use. Surprise, motherfucker. It's like, oh, shit! If you insert uh, an item into the pot and wait a few moments, a new item will never been seen before will pop out. You can make grass that heals and replenishes strength. Or a really powerful ordinary stick that you can make all sorts of things. <laughs> the items you made with this can be written in encyclopedia book and they'll be start appearing in the world. On the other hand, you can erase it from the book and those items will be removed from the world. The space you can write in this is limited, so be sure to use it wisely. So better words, put really overpowered weapons inside the book, get rid of the crappy ones, and then life is good. You can use, you can ask Pine Key over there for more details. You should go check out the secret pots in the encyclopedia so you can get familiar with them. Looks like I've been talking too much. Anyway, please help out my store.
I win! Congratulations, you win! The prize you won is three Shadow Bind Tails! Yay! You can buy another one now! Oh, could you not? Come on, don't buy! Oh, you're not gonna buy them? That's too bad. Anything else? Quit. I'm trying to save my money. Details. Throw this at a target to inflict all creatures in the area with shadow bind status. While affected with shadow bind status, creatures are unable to move. Be advised, creatures can still attack in this state. Noted. So use range attacks, gotcha. This is so freaking cute though. <laughs> like those those raccoon dogs are so adorable. Especially her. Aww. I'm Ah! Uh, I'm Po! Apo! Together we are Apo Brothers! We're currently putting together our business plan. We plan to open our business. We hope you'll frequent us. Why do these two remind me of uh, Tim and Tom? <laughs> <laughs> Timmy and Tom from Animal Crossing. Get to the Destiny Trail. I can do some crazy farming and hopefully get better gear. By the way, Dan Van Dam, do you know how to suspend the game? Open the menu and hit suspend. If you're tired, it will just want to go and take a break. Which is pretty useful. Just like that, just holding still and just punching things. That's also very useful. Yeah, this overall, this entry in the series so far is pretty solid. Ah, welcome! I am the Super Plating Craftsman. I can plate up anything. You want to get something plated? The price is 200G per item. Eh, I can't. You change your mind? Too bad. Playing skills are first rate. Come back anytime. Okay, to move your ass then. I, I need... God damn it. That tub lub over there got me in hit. Look at that was my fault. Welcome back, Draconic Dude. Crescent Cantana. Ooh. Here's scroll, some warp grass. Herb. Missed. Okay. Uh Bright Blade was dunk up. You do not. Didn't have a card to stop it. Okay, the exit's down below. I keep thinking that's an enemy after he comes up on me. I'm like, oh. Do do do. Love the music in this area. A sheepy. Holy poly son of a bitch. Music's on point. See, I was gonna use those swords I just got there, but I, I have to identify those first. That's a trap I'm not gonna step on. But yeah, visually this is very appeasing. Like some of the avatars are a little bit like uh, blurry, but that's fine. I believe this. You know, I mean, I can excuse blurry stuff like that too. Like I'm not so picky about it because I can obviously make out the characters and still very adorable. Everything else though looks crisp. Picked up a student shield, so I can. I'm not gonna touch those until I get those identified. A stale shield or a scroll. 
bunch of loot here. Yeah, I gotta get myself a card here pretty soon. Column get destroyed. That person ain't really gonna mess with me. to them now. Ah, so you also ventured here to reshape your own destiny? I came all the way here thinking maybe I could change my life. But you know what? Nothing... I, You know what? I'm just tired of it. Nothing goes right. My plans are always half-assed. Before I came here, I brought a lot of ended up a big loser, which just puts me further in debt. Lady Luck has forsaken me. My life sucks. But right, when I'm about to give up, you talk to me and I change my mind. Talking to you gives me courage to push out of my life. Really, something deep inside me just bursts out. It makes me want to talk, work harder, too. I can't give up. I'll stand up, I'll stand up, not because no one is born a loser. That's right. I think we're all destined to be here. That's what I like to believe. So please, help me. Can you lend me about 500 gold? With that much, I can repay my debts and redo my life. Please, pretty please. I'll never ask for anything else. Honest. See, you're, uh, see, the problem, the problem with his argument, he just said he was a gambler. What? You're not lending it to me? You're gonna forsake me, too? I know was, I was worth nothing. Well, dude, there's your problem. You're telling me you're a gambler, and if I give you money, you're just gonna go back and gamble, so I'm not giving you a dime. Yep, it does have cursed items, too. You actually have to go to, um... Like, you gotta go to, like, different... Like, you gotta go to a priest and identify it and all that. Oh, is that enemy down here? That's one cute ass cat. Gameplay is very easy to pick up too. It's yeah, it plays the game with the controller. It probably do the keyboard and all that. Let's see. Yep, plays good with the keyboard. Obviously, I have to have to read up what the controls are. All right, on, right on. Get those num nums. Four. Nothing sweet about that nut. Sky Splitter. I keep getting these really good weapons here, it looks like. What the fuck is that? Pin kit, okay. I might be saying those guys crit really hard, too. Oh, no, no, those are the guys that warp you. They're assholes. Yeah, I like just equipping things blindly like that. That's like not good. I will right, we'll eat. Let's regain our stuff so I can pick up the staff. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, that katana makes the work. Super Saiyan, babe. He's about to fucking teleport me again. Fuck him. <laughs> I'm sorry, pardon my French, but oh god, those, those guys pissed me off. I used to play this a lot, or at least the DS version. Ah, uh, quite a bit. And those guys always piss me off. These guys hurt. An iron charge. I will eat it. If only because I want the uh, shield here. Have a better weapon here. What is it though? about that nut. Oh, it teleported me randomly. Like, uh, every spot in this map has, like, a random RG element into it. Select a weapon to upgrade it. Oh, antidote grasp. Thank you. Yeah, this game overall, it's like the most fair, I think, for a lot of these type of crawlers. Because it doesn't punish you as hard as you'd think it would. Like, it's still, after a while, it does get kind of crazy, but it doesn't hurt you, hurt you. Level, let's head back to the entrance world. What? Oh, I see what was happening. He was trying to pick up the item and it couldn't, so he kept uh, locking the movement.
So this is Reva's Tower, the legendary Tower of Fortune. Dan Van Dam, be careful. The God of Destiny rules this place. Anything could happen in there. Looks really cool. Towers of the past, present, and future. You can enter which one you want. You'll have to conquer all three of them to gather the Dice of Fate, or you won't be able to go into the top of the tower. What are you? I am Tao. I'm part... I am a part-time guy for the Tower of Fortune. Do you wish to challenge a Tower of Fortune? Then I, Tao, shall be your guide. The tower to the left is the Tower of the Past. The decisions aren't there aren't so strong, and I recommend starting there. Well, I was going to start there anyway. In the center is the Tower of Present. The monsters are a bit more fierce, so I suggest taking to the Tower of Past first. Collect some strong weapons and equipment before you head to the Tower of Present. And finally, your, your right is the Tower of the Future. That one's tough. You better start there if you want, unless you know what you're doing. It's not a great idea. I should recommend you against going to that one first. Well, that's what they say, usually say, anyway. Well, the ends free section of your tour. Would you like me to hire me, Tao, as your guide? If you hire me as guide, I'll join you as an ally. and will be a huge help to you. No need to be shy. My guide fee is uh, 150. What do you say? Why not? Then it's settled. We'll meet up on the site. We'll meet again soon. You better be sure to make it there when I am. He's adorable, so why not? Hey, Tao, I'm Kalpa. This is my partner, Dan Van Dam. Got it. Dan Van Dam and Kalpa. Nice to meet you both. He's a weirdo. So we can enter any one of the three towers? It's probably best if we start with the Tower of the Past. Let's go, Dan Van Dam. Hmm? What's that? Jirochi's grave? What is this? It says throw a healing item on it. Let me toss this herb I've been saving. Let's see what happens. Oh! What? Kirichi? What the? What happened to me? I remember fighting a mon- I remember a monster getting to me and I passed out and- Are you okay, Jiro? Aren't you the traveler I saw back at the village? I'm Kappa. This guy here is my partner, the Wanderer, Van Van Dam. So you managed to get to this fairyland. You're looking for those dice of fate, right? Oro? For Aro, was it? Or or you. I keep saying Oro. <laughs> That's a totally wrong name. Oh, I have to change Oro's fate. No, or, or you. It's fate, no matter what. I see, Jiro. You were collapsed here earlier. This was your grave. Me? Grave? Here? Really? I don't remember what happened after I lost consciousness. It's most likely that the emotions that you hold for or you cause your soul to refuse to escape the tower. So, if you defeated by monsters, your soul will cling to this place as firmly as it can. Just fighting for illness even now, I have to do something for Uryu. Kirju, I know we're here to help you... to help Uryu. Let's go together. I'd like to see the top of this Tower of Fortune anyway. Right, Den Van Dam? Right. Thank you. With your help, I feel much more confident. Thanks. Now, let's go. We'll have to go back to the Dice of Fate or something. Oh, I have two members of my party now. Tower of the Past. Oh. Back 
equipped everybody with weapons. Oh, that's a mimic. How oh, that frogo is. Damn, these guys are really OP. What? Party system on this is really cool. That's a nice little sweet nut. Nothing wrong with a good old sweet nut. What? You little capper looking bastard. Questions, can I give this to people? The preservation one would probably be pretty good. Okay, so that's pretty good. Preservation. Oh! Okay. That's actually pretty cool then. Let me put that in there. I'll probably eat that expander. Expand this gut. Five points. Killed that. The 
something like that would ever be true. That's not a sweet nut, that's a sour nut. Okay, I don't think there's anything in this little nook over here. I'm looking- oh! Part of my eye, I saw something kind of running up on- ooh! Okay, yeah, that was just a passageway. I'm not mining the enemies coming up on me, though. Or the next advancement. Oh! Upgrade seed, which does. Uses to gain the tinker status. Use this or uh, replenish some fullness. Uh, crit weapon will she'll be upgraded more quickly. Oh. <laughs> he hits pretty hard. Got some rocks. Some more pot. God damn. This blade is pretty vicious. those nuts. I also gotta eat. That looks so good though, those rice uh, balls. I haven't had a good rice ball in a long time. Tiger just threw the fucker right at me. <laughs> that was kind of funny. He just said, come here. That was funny. He just fucking lofted his ass at me. He's like, come here, get him. Uh, 
Apparently those two up there are fucking some shit up. Oh. Um, hey, damn it, M, what's that over there? Fox. Cool. What's that fox doing here? Did you get caught into a trap? However, hey, David M, let's just get this trap off and... Wait a second. Are you really just a fox? You're not going to turn to a monster and ambush us the moment we release you, are you? Release it. All right. Let's hope for the best. It's off. Come on, you'll be okay now. Be more careful. Don't get yourself stuck in traps again. Let's get going, Dan Van Dam. Tower of the Past. Floor 3. First girl can go to hell. Ha! So take your medicine. Some life grass. You can leave your cursed shit to yourself. What was that? Something just like ran by. Wait. The fuck? Ah, oh, shoot. I just went to catch some bugs on my sister and we just separated. Sis keeps getting ahead on the road and the world sees collapsed up ahead. Please go save my sister, seeing she collapsed up ahead. Help the sister? Sure. Really? You'll go help her? Thank you! I think Sith collapsed up the head. Okay, I think I got this. You, you, you're... You've said that like 1,300 times already. I stored this information in my brain. That curse girl. Shoot. Was it paying attention? Give me that no no sleepy juice. Oh, you jerk. I'm assuming those other intersections over there are not really known. What? Hey, where the hell did they bring me? Down there, what? Hey, what? Oh, hello, my father is an iron upgrader. You can leave an item with me for him to upgrade.
All right. Um, Crescent Katana, are you sure? All right, I got it. I'll make my way. I'll make sure my father upgrades it by the time we meet again. That's just random. Man, this is a game based off of RNG. Upgrade limit. Uh, its power went to two. Upgrade limit went to nine. Okay. See the sister anywhere. He leaves Syrian alone. Because he went Super Saiyan. If I scroll on, all the items will be identified. Proceed. I see. Thank you. Thank you. Come again. That's the face of a man who's seen some shit, though. see about that. If I got ganked like that, though. <laughs> Everyone named themselves Sierra, and they're just lazy.
That's the only thing that upset me about this series, too, is, like, you lose all your shit. So it's like, if you die, you, you just get fucked. One thing we can do is go forward. Yeah, it's like it it, it sucks cuz like you lose everything like money everything and if you're like a sour grape that doesn't like to lose stuff then this game would probably most likely upset people but i mean that's just that's just what it, how it goes with uh roguelike games Give you all kinds of random items too. Like you'll either get like a weapon from them, maybe you'll get herbs, and so it's all randomly generated. So it's pretty much the luck of the dice. Other times you'll just find cash laying on the ground. Kind of sad too, because I got a pretty good weapon. It's unfortunate one of the uh, enemies like fucking teleported me in the middle of everything. So. Yeah, sometimes enemies will give you stuff. Other times you just get like stuff like this on the ground or.
Okay, I'm not really gonna eat that yet. Yeah, it's such a good run, too. I should probably farm more enemies to get leveled back up again. I was just gonna run through it, but I was like, nah. We need to get those levels as much as we can get. The more stacked we are, the stronger we'll be able to withstand. hunger while this is equipped less starvation a little more action more filling less hunger tastes great actually that's pretty useful Press Y to kind of adjust your shot. I guess, too, I could t hypothetically just sit here and just farm these enemies for a while as they do respawn often. Because I have been noticing they've been doing free popping again. same time. They give me nothing but antidotes. Thank you, I got some heal grass finally. It's like, I'm not ungrateful for those heal, those antidote things that they do become... Uh, super duper useful, but at the same time, it's like it, it's nicer to have. Presto pots are pretty nice too. Nothing sweet about those nuts at all. Nothing. Oh, fuck you, you trap. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Grumble, grumble. Don't get me wrong, she was nice to have on my team, but I can't afford her now. I'm training in the art of geography. Desire, I'll write a secret, great something you've never seen. I 
Again? Jesus Christ. <laughs> 